Hi, it's me again, and you know on this channel I like to talk about the stupid threatening letters that TV licensing send out to people to try and sell them their product. And I like to break them down and show you how much nonsense they contain within. Well, many people get a lot of letters, and I feel personally that class is as harassment. And today we're going to talk about three letters sent in the space of about one and a half months that one of you brilliant people sent in to show me. So let's take a look at these and break them down because I think this is absolutely ridiculous personally. See if you agree with me. Take a look. Right, let's take a look at the first letter. It's dated February this year and something I just want you to know first is that this gentleman had a television license and he paid it on one of those payment card things that they send you and you go to the news agent to the petrol station and pay it. But he decided he no longer wants a television license so he just stopped paying it as is an okay way to do it. You don't have to tell them if you don't want to that you're cancelling your telly license. You can just cancel your payments. And this is the first letter that they sent him once he stopped paying for his television license. You need to pay now to avoid debt collection. You have now missed six of your payments towards your TV license. If you do not pay now, we may pass your account to a debt collection agency. Now the thing that really angers me most about this letter is it's a television subscription. That's how you have to think of the TV license. It's a television subscription. And if you stop paying for your Netflix, you just can't access that service anymore. They don't threaten you with all this scary nonsense and big red writing. They're just like, right, you can't access our service anymore. And that's the way it should be with a BBC. I've never known a company that wants you to buy their product to threaten you so much. It's like the mafia or something, and it? it's crazy. Please pay £60 immediately. Take your payment card plus cash or a debit card to any pay point. You can also pay by phone, text and online with a debit or credit card. The payment plan on the other side of this letter shows what to pay after that. Yeah, it does sound like a mafia shakedown, doesn't it? You know, we're going to take you to the cash point, take your card, take your cash, go and pay now or you'll get more letters. It's, it's shocking. What happens if you don't pay? If you do not pay us now, the next step would be to pass your debt to Akinka Debt Recovery Limited, a licensed debt collection agency. They are authorised to collect payments for us. You will get no further warning before they contact you. We may also have to cancel your TV licence. Oh no! You will be breaking the law if you then watch or record live TV programmes on any channel device. Blah, blah, blah. So the last bit of that's the funny bit. We may have to cancel your TV license. No, I'm sorry. It's not for you to cancel. He's cancelled it already because he stopped bloody paying you and you're threatening him with cancellation. He's already cancelled it. You're not going to scare him with that. He doesn't want to buy your TV license. And this is an empty threat. Nothing's going to come of this. And I can prove that in the next letters. Let's have a look. So he received another letter from TV licensing a short while after getting that. And how threatening do you think this one's going to be? Let's take a look. Our simple payment plan, around £3 a week, so no big bills. They're being nice again. Nice, horrible, nice, horrible, nice, horrible. You just don't know where you stand with these people, do you? We've tried to contact you a number of times because you have stopped making payments towards your TV licence. So in line with Section 364, brackets 5 of the Communication Act 2003, we have cancelled your licence from the date of this letter. No, he cancelled his licence when he stopped paying for your service. As you are no longer covered by a TV license, you will need to buy one if you continue to watch or record live TV programmes on any service or device, or to download or watch BBC programmes on BBC iPlayer. So yeah, the last one's really threatening. You don't pay us, we're going to take you to a debt collection agency. So it's obviously a massive empty threat, because they're now saying we've cancelled your TV license, but look, if you want to continue paying, you can do it from as little as £3 a week. Why am I to the debt collection agency? It's an empty threat, and it should not be allowed, should it? It's absolutely shocking. So let's take a look at their simple payment plan. Maybe it's for me. The simple payment plan from TV licensing is our most affordable way to enjoy the peace of mind that comes with having a TV license. Peace of mind for who? Peace of mind for the gentleman who received these letters who doesn't require a TV license, or peace of mind for you good people at Capita and the BBC that you've just made another 159 quid. Probably the latter. The day you join the scheme is the day you make a fresh start with a new licence and payment plan. I don't want a fresh start. Please read the enclosed leaflet for more information. So they haven't completely forgotten how to be threatening. At the bottom of the letter they have this. Act by the 7th of June to avoid being selected for a visit. 
Our records show you have stopped making payments and your TV license has been cancelled. To see what happens if we don't hear from you, take a look over the page. See, now I've been threatened like that before at school when a bully was trying to take my lunch money. If you don't give me your lunch money, you see what happens. That's what that sounds like, isn't it? You may be visited by our enforcement officers and could face prosecution and a fine if you need a license. He doesn't need a license, that's why he stopped paying you. So it's crazy how they get away with this, isn't it? I mean, they were being nice and offering you a simple payment plan for a service that you might require. And then at the bottom, they're like, bang, threatening again. And it's, it's shocking. They shouldn't be allowed to get away with it. But this gentleman did receive one more letter. Let's take a look. So the first letter was quite threatening with the debt collection thing. The second letter was almost bordering on polite, really, wasn't it? Oh, please pay. We can do it from as little as three pounds a week. We're here to help you. So what do you think the third letter's tone is going to be. Let's take a look. Don't want to visit from us, you've got eight days. Well, at least it's not in red, hey? It's kind of halfway between threatening and nice, isn't it? So they can be a little bit proud of themselves, but if you want to be really scary, it's got to be red, TV license. Come on, what are you doing? We wrote to you a short while ago, introducing the simple payment plan from TV licensing. It's our most affordable way to pay for a TV license, working out at three pounds a week. The simple payment plan gives you peace of mind of being covered by a license without any big bills. He doesn't need a license. You don't need to be covered by a license. It should reword that. They should reword that, shouldn't they? And just put, look, this gives you peace of mind of being covered by a license if you so happen to require a license. But please do remember that you don't need a license to own a TV or to watch 90% of the TV that you watch anyway. For more information, please see Chili John Carney's YouTube channel. That's what it should say. It's an easier way to pay, yet so far you've ignored our invitation to join the plan. Was it an invitation or was it a threat? The simple payment plan is our most affordable way to pay. No big bills, just regular payments that work out around £3 a week. Call this number or go to this website that I'm not going to advertise here. So, not fully threatening, but then at the bottom, off they go again. If you don't take action, we'll schedule a visit. Big bold letters. Your TV license has been cancelled because you have not paid for it. No, he cancelled it when he chose to stop paying for it. Now time is running out. Ooh. You can make a fresh start by joining the simple payment plan. But if we don't hear from you by the 7th of June, we will pass your details on to our enforcement teams. I wonder what would happen on the 7th of June. Well, I don't need to wonder because nothing happened whatsoever. Nothing happened. They did nothing. And even if they did come, all you've got to do is say, hello, who are you? Hello, I'm from TV Licensing. Bang, I've shut the door. It's all gone away. It's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it, how they get away with this. To prevent a visit, you need to get in touch. Ignoring it won't make this problem go away. Yes, it will, because ignoring it is the best possible way to make people from TV Licensing go away. There's no better way of doing it than ignoring them. They haven't got to put that in the letter, though, are they? And I believe that's only three of the letters that that guy receives. I think he got more, but he threw them away. But these ones, he got a picture off to me before, before binning them as the correct place to file them, obviously. But to me, that just appears to be a timeline of harassment. That's what I call that, because he doesn't need that service. And you're trying to force him and scare him into paying for something he doesn't need. And I have no idea how they get away with these tactics. No other company could ever get away with trying to sell you a product in such a threatening manner, unless they were a mafia or something, isn't it? It's terrible, absolutely terrible. But what do you think? Leave your comments below, and I've got playlists down there as well of all the other TV license letters I've cancelled, so take a look at them and compare them to the letters you've got. If you've got a letter that I haven't done, please do send it over. My contact details are below as well. While you're down there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, it really helps this channel grow. This time last year, I think I had just under 5,000 subscribers. And thanks to you brilliant people out there, you know, sharing the videos and leaving your comments and, you know, helping everybody in the comments. Well, it's wonderful down in the comments. You're all really nice to each other and help each other out. Because of that, we've managed to grow this channel and help so many more people. It's fantastic. So thank you very much for that. So I'll see you in another video coming up again soon, probably. Thanks for watching.